kindergarten friends. Um, parents, I want you guys to listen to this. I, I promise it's gonna be short. Um, I wanna talk about kindergarten sight words. Um, I've been teaching for a long time. Years ago, kindergarten did not learn sight words. They learned them, but we didn't have to test for them. Uh, and then pretty soon it was like, okay, you're gonna learn five, A and the, you know, just a few. And then it was 10, and then it was 20, uh, and then it was 50. And then uh, for a few years, they jumped to 100. And that was tough because there were a few kids who had no problem getting the 100, but for other kids, it was really, really hard. Well, they backed down to 50, and they also kind of put the emphasis off of just memorizing sight words and put the emphasis on learning sight words while you're reading, okay? That's why in the Nat Geo book, they will give you, you know, pages like this, but they give you lots of pages like this to read. And then our little books that we read have sight words. So that really is the best way. You know, otherwise you're forcing kids to memorize and some kids are super good at memorizing. You show them a word one time and they know it forever. And other kids take a word like the, some kids, oh boy, oh boy, that's a tough one. <laughs> I've had kids that they go months and they can't remember the word the. Uh, so if your child memorizes sight words easily, you're really, really lucky because it's not easy for everyone. Um, anyways, we did develop a sight word program. I wish I had my rainbow here, but um, I'll show it to you sometime, I'm sure, where we have a, give everybody in the class a cloud, okay, with their name on it and their picture. And then we divide the 50 sight words that we have to learn now. It's actually something like 45 or 47, but we added a few extras to make it an even 50. And then um, we kind of divided the words into colors. So the first set of words are the red words, okay? And of course, if we follow the rainbow, the second set of words are orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Okay, so in the classroom, we would be giving the kids one set at a time and then testing them. Once they get the red on their cloud, they, we put a red strip. Oh, I really wish I had that rainbow, but I will bring it home next time because we'll be talking about this again. Um, and then I give them the orange words. And when they memorize those, I used to in the classroom try to tr test like every Monday because then I could stick the new words in their, in their homework folder and they could take them home for the week. Um, and then come back the next week. If they knew those, I give them a yellow. And then sometimes I just give them all of them. Uh, it kind of depends on the child. Some kids were super, super fast and they wanted them all. Um, anyways, this year, because we're at home, um, we did not get these ready to send home for you guys at the beginning of the year. And we didn't really want to because we didn't want the kids focusing on sight words before they learn their letters and sounds. Usually I wait till they learn their letters and sounds. Then I give them their sight words. Um, but you guys have had these. So you've had one full set of words in the Nat Geo workbook. And I made a little uh, seesaw activity using these words. I just took a picture of this and made it on seesaw. But it's not good to practice these words um, in order all the time. Because of course, you know, let, let's say you don't know the word C, but you know it's the third word on the left, and then of course they're gonna get it. So it's better, of course, to cut them apart and mix them up, right? Okay, so <laughs> this list that you guys have already worked on, okay, is the same as the red words. There's only one extra word here, and that's at, okay? And at is a phonetic, is a sound at word. Now on the orange words, we've done is, and we just did like, and this week we're doing and. So we haven't done all of these. So I would kind of prefer to wait till we, um, you know, introduce them in the Nat Geo and when the kids are reading them and using them instead of just sending them all home and they're just memorizing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this today and I'm going to put that on Seesaw and I just want you guys to practice. I would prefer you get these out. I'm not sure if you could make a copy of this from Seesaw. I think there is a button where you can print out, of course, if you have a printer at home. Um, and if you could print it on red paper, that's even better. I noticed that Brianna had already put hers like on a colored paper, but pra practicing on this white paper is perfectly fine. I just want you to kind of be able to mix them up and not do the same order all the time. And then I'm gonna wait a few weeks before I make this a Seesaw activity. Now, hopefully, uh, by the time we get back to school, we'll be on the yellow list. Now, Nat Geo has been introducing 
one sight word a week, but at some point, I can't tell you what week it is, they start doing two. And that's just because the kids get better at it. They get better at it and you can start, you know, doing two at a time and it's no problem for them. And then they'll end up getting through all these words. Um, now, when we get back to school in January, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, you know, I'll have the clouds all ready for them. I'll take a picture, I'll put it on the cloud. I will test, I'll get caught up on it and we'll still be able to do our reading rainbows. Um, and if not, um, you could always make a rainbow at home too. Uh, but and next time, like I said, I'll show you and you could actually do it for them at home. But I, I'd rather just wait till we get back to school. Okay, so that's it. So the assignment today, this is only a five minute video. I hope kids, I hope you guys are watching it. The assignment for sight words today is to practice your sight words, but you're gonna do it on Nat Geo, okay? All right, that's it. Bye.